Alright, uh, boy, so let's check our little uh, gate friend now. We had a door friend that disappeared, so now we can check our gate friend. Oops, still there. Uh, so, so I guess we have two levels we can do. This one's locked for now. Alright, let's move on. Oh, boy. Alright, down the tubes. Oh, boy, so when I said I had a history of this level at the end of the last video, um... Basically, what I meant was that this is my least favorite level in this game. I really don't like this level, and there's a specific reason, and there's a specific part of it that kind of makes it why it's my... Wait, why am I going down? That makes it my least favorite level. Uh, this part isn't so bad, it's just basic factory stuff, I guess. Just getting all the stuff. Let me see, we got the P. Alright. We're going this B doing back up. Avoid the Peter Griffins again. Obviously, we've got to avoid the Peter Griffins. Okay, so Falling Debris makes another big prominence here, so... Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Whoa, that was close. Let's see if I can make the jump. Oh, yeah, I did it. Oh, well, lucky me. Yeah, actually, this level, the uh, robots here can change, like, from bent down to that bent down like position to straight up. You just gotta be careful, and you know what? I'm gonna die here because I wanna go and. Uh, I wanna get in the maze at full health here. Uh, just hopefully I don't get hit by any more falling. Just hopefully I don't get hit by hit by any falling debris on the way. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's see uh, down the tubes maze. This is the last factory maze we're gonna do. Basically, same mechanic. Uh, pipes that pop up, Peter Griffins that pop out from the pipes. Same jazz. So it's just it's nothing uh nothing different. Let's see if I can get that ghost. Oh, there we go. Yeah! That's more like it. That's what... No, nah, that's not what I wanted to see. And I gotta try to get the strawberries here. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Getting all four ghosts in one pellet. Ah! There we go. Okay, great. So that one's probably gonna get away. As is that strawberry. Ah! Oh, hey! Whoa! A little easy there. Alright, maybe I can get them all this time. Yeah, this time I think I'm gonna get them all. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. There we go. Got the strawberry. You know, seems that I'm largely apathetic towards this maze now. I just gotta keep my toes on the line. Ah! Well, there's the line. There's another strawberry. Just got one more to go. Good as gold. Alright, let's see. Track some ghosts. Probably not gonna get them all this time, but hey, oh well. Get enough. I got them. I got enough ghosts. Now nah, it's just getting in the pellet, the rest of the pellets. Or pack dots. Uh, uh, who cares? You know, sometimes those pipes can really be annoying. Because they appear in the stupidest locations, and the ghosts don't make it any easier. What? Oh, we're almost done. There's two pellets over there. Let's hope I can get them without attracting the attention of the ghosts. There we go! He's right in the way of a Peter Griffin! To boot. Alright. Now we're done that area. Now we're done that maze, and we did pretty good. I mean, I mean not maybe. Maybe about the same as the under pressure maze. Er, under pressure maze, sorry. I'm going back to thinking of the Loud House. Um, alright, so we can move on now. At least, good thing is, at least we get the maze out of the way in the at least tolerable part of the level, as I like to call it. I gotta watch out for Peter Griffins here. There we go. Alright, so gotta get those pellets. Alrighty, so... 
go. There's one going down. There's that. Alright, so I'm just gonna make sure I don't get hit by the falling debris along the way. Ooh, phew. I almost thought I was gonna, though, versus I'm gonna get hit and fall off, fall down there for a second. Alrighty, so that's that. Alright, time to. A new hero will. Ah! A new hero will rise indeed! Yeah, that's nice. I got hit again. Okay, so. Just to be a fair warning, the tolerable part of this level, as I like to call it, is almost coming to an end here. We're getting into the part I really, really dislike about this level. But before we do go into the part that I really, really dislike about this level, a door to open. Some pa some good old pack dots. Fresh from the oven. Or fresh from the switch, as I, as I guess you would call them. I guess the whole bugger's back. And I got hit again. That's nice. Oh, that was close. Ugh, alright. There we go. We're out of that area. Now we were very well. Now we're invariably going to end up having to go into the uh, part I hate the most about this level. There we go. Down the slide, down the chute. There we go. Alright, so to start off, we're going to destroy this shark. Hit the switch. So, as you can see here, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. It's over here. It's a door. Or... For now, we don't know where it leads, so, and because we don't know how, we don't have the appropriate fruit yet, so, um, I'm gonna get another chrome ball, so with the switch out of the way, I can get down there faster and get some of the collectibles out of the way. Uh, alright, let's see if I can at least get the last shark, sharky shark over there. There we go, and we got the sea. Alright, so... This, the biggest part, and the base, the main part of this level, and the part I hate the most, is that this is, for the most part, the second half is an underwater maze. So, there are different routes we have to take. Now, the, uh, if we didn't go down, that would take us straight to the level, but obviously there are collectibles we have to collect down here. And obviously we need to, because as you can see, there was a friend, we need to collect them. As, as, you, as you saw, there was like a friend up there that we need to free, and we don't have the key yet, so... Gotta figure out how we can get the key. So that means dodging sharkies. So, and going down the chute slowly as possible. Uh. And there we go. We are now at the first of the. T there are two areas like this. And we're at the first. Uh, what a waste of a super bounce. Am I right? Alright, so. This part's pretty. So, this part isn't, like, too hard. I mean, in general, this level isn't, like, hard. It's just very monotonous. It's, that's just the biggest problem. And, the, and another big problem is that I keep hitting everything. That's not gonna go well on. well on. down on my record. So I'm gonna wait for the. So if I want to get the shark a little quicker, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for it to slowly head out. I'm gonna get the chrome ball. And first of all, I'm gonna destroy the shark, obviously. And first we get the banana, and then we just gotta jump our way up here and an extra life. Come on. All right. That's out of the way. Make our way back. Now we're gonna go down here and collect some other stuff. So first we get the peach, which we're gonna be using back before sand. We're gonna go all the way back here and collect the M. Whoa, that pipe propelled me. That was odd. Alright. Before we 
we go back up again, we're gonna go here and get hit again. No, no, I'm just gonna die here. It's not worth it. Not worth going in like this, but we got the bell. Mel was inside that peach door, so... Alright. So, at this point, we got pretty much what we need to free the friend. Just spoiler alert, but... We still have one more area with just a couple more collectibles we gotta get. So... All the way back up here. And then we gotta go here. Alright, so... There's only two doors, thankfully, here, but... It's made up by the fact that I'm just probably gonna be taking as much damage as I can here! Alright, so we're in the first area, first area part now, and now, first of all, I'm gonna... I'm a little bugger here. Go down here. Got the cherry. Needed to uh, unlock the door. Mmm. Oh, that's some delish cherry there. Ain't I right? Okay, I'm gonna want to time this right because if I want to get the shark, uh. Well, here we go. Let's just hope I can time it. Okay. Ah! No, I'm gonna waste so much time! At least... Okay. Oh, Alright, if you don't know, that chest doesn't really matter. It all, it, all it contained was a full life wedge, so... That doesn't really matter. At least it's at least it's nothing, like, super important. At least we got what we needed. Stupid shark. Alright, so... Got the chrome ball in here, and I just gotta be careful. Not to actually fall off, or else I'm not gonna be able to get anything here. No extra life. Come on. Come on! There we go. There we go. Uh huh. Now we got the second day, so now we can go back up. Alright, so at least now all those collectibles are out of the way, and we can go back up. And get that, uh, and then get that bell door we saw earlier. No, no, wait. This is. Uh, I have to go this way. Yes, chomp, 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 chomp. Yeah, that's all they do. They just go around chomping. <laughs> munch, 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 munch. Alright, go behind here, and this leaves us a little walkway over here. Alright, so we're in an area again with four ghosts, but thankfully this time we don't get any falling debris. Alright, so first of all we're going to get the key. Since I die, I'm jumping in an attempt to get it, then at least I have, you know, the key. I'm going to get... Oh boy, this is going to be tricky. I want to get the pellet, the... Hack dots! Alright, at least that ghost is running down towards me, so this time I- There we go! At least this time I can get all four easily. Ugh! Darn it. That doesn't matter anyway. So, that switch also rises the water level in this area, so now we can safely get up and free the friend. I could've, like, if I, if I had good timing, I could've leaped up and, like, talked to him with, like, touched the cage without the key, but... Nah. Alright, and there's Pac-Man Jr. Pac-Man's son. Cool! Thanks for the rescue! Swim out, swim out, pipe one to the exit. I am so out of here. Totally rad! Ain't I right? Yeah. Alright. So that's, uh, at least we got him out of the way. So now I can go down here. Make our way to the end of the level. And I am thankful for that. Alright. I'm going 
gonna save that extra life when I get the chrome bob there. And I wanna make sure I get the shark too. So there we go. Alright, and this chest is gonna contain the end. Uh, there we go. Oh, finally, my least favorite level done! The monotony is over! Now I just gotta get the bonus round out of the way and then we're good as gold. Ugh, a relief. I'm gonna do this again. Ugh, there we go. I'm just gonna get a bunch of fruits now. It's odd how like it's odd how like you can get a ton of I like a ton of fruit here. Oh, very high scoring. If you ask me. Oh boy. All right. Just skip the roulette, and we got a hundred lives now. And it may not look like it, but you can see here it's gonna say, "Yep, hundred lives." Wicka wow, wicka wow, wicka wow wow, bam bam wow. L, however you say it, I guess. Alright, let's talk to this little bugger here. Dude! There are more friends to rescue! You have to, like, totally save them! Yes, I know. Actually, we only have one more, well, maybe? I don't know. And our gate friend is still there, so we only have one possible level we can do. And then, so happens that after my least favorite level, we get to my least favorite boss. Chrome Keeper. Oh boy, this is going to be painful. This is another example of monotony, because basically what you have to do here is that, as you can see, I got a chrome ball. What you got to do here is that you got to hit all these switches with the chrome ball. You can't hit them as regular Pac-Man or you're going to take damage. And hitting all the switch, yeah. As you can see, there's health meter out down there. But the thing is, you got to do that process I just did eight times! Eight times! Get the extra life up there. Eight times! Yes, really. And what's even worse is that, as you can see, there are a bunch of, like, little mag magnets or something that are running, like, under there, moving under there. And if you happen to be under them while you're wearing a chrome ball, they, like, watch. Oh, well, too late already, but... Basically, they, you get attached to them, they stick you up, and then you just get dropped into this acid pool right here. So, and... And you can't free yourself, and once you get attached to the magnets, you can't free yourself. So, you're out of luck. So, I just gotta do my best to avoid the magnets. And, it, and of course, it's gonna require a lot of tricky jumping. But, I think I can manage. A lot of extra life, extra health wages. Including now taking damage from the thing. There really isn't much to say, it's just repeating the same process. There really is no difference. It's just the sad thing about this level. really isn't much to say, other than I'm going to have to do this five more times. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. As you can see, I got attached. And I was lucky enough that I managed to have a short little, short little burst of invincibility there, so I could hit the thing without taking damage. And we're already halfway done. That's, I guess, a plus. Really? I guess you can consider that. Alright, uh, don't I get, uh, make sure I get out of the way. Oh boy, alright, so we're down to the final three. Which is good, at least I don't have much more. Oh, there we go, finally, extra life. Oh! Ah! Uh, let me go! Let me go! Yeah, and, and if you didn't realize, there's kind of a time limit. You actually do have a time limit. Ah! Oh, oh, just my luck. Once again, attached. And this time, I'm actually probably gonna get dipped into the, uh... Probably gonna get sunk in the acid pool. And that's gonna cause me lots of damage if I stick in there. There isn't. See, as... All I wanted was just that extra thing! Is it that hard? Oh, jeez. I feel tormented here. Let's just... Try not to get attached to them to attach to the magnets again. Puns. 
Ooh, all right, only two more times. Come on. Knock, knock the box over. Don't be a scaredy cat. Go. Uh, hip hip hurrah and we're almost done oh darn it that magnum is just threatening me it's like eh, i see you pac-man and i'm gonna attach you to them i'm gonna attach you to me i'm attached to you oh there we go that completes the collection Okay, we gotta hurry here, actually. I don't think I have much time left on my chrome ball. Uh, maybe I can get an extra chrome ball from here, if I have enough of the time. Yeah, there we go! Whoa! There, and there we go! We are done! Ugh, alright, monotony's over. Level complete. Alright, and like Nunubis Rex, there's no collectibles here, so we know all we get here is 5,000 points. Uh, we are moving on now. Alright, so let's see about our gate friend. Oh my! Our gate friend isn't here anymore! So, this is the true final area of the game. This is where we're going to have our final levels. So, I will see you guys then for the start of the mansion area.